Okay, so we've had a look at the C major family of chords. Now the other key which will help you a lot is the G major family of chords. And there's a bit of a cheat way to play all these chords so you can get instant results. But even though it's a cheat, a lot of people use it and it's in a lot of famous songs so it does sound really good as well. So um, I'm just going to show you uh, what it's all about. So here you the key to it is, is having your third and fourth finger on these two strings here. See? Your first and second string. And that it's on the third fret. So you need them the whole time. And then you're going to be moving these two fingers about. One or two fingers about to gain all your chords in the family. So here's a G. Here's an A. Where it's C, E minor, your D, and your B minor. I'm going to do a nice easy version of it. Here. Okay, so you can see the, the G there. So it's like a normal G, but you're adding these two fingers. So this will sound like this. And then we're going to go to the A minor. And you can see, keep the 3 and 4 there. You're going to put your first finger on the 4th string, 2nd fret. That'll look like this. So I'm going to go straight to a C. So you can see the C looks like the G above it. It's actually called a C add 9. You can see these 1 and 2 fingers are moved down a string. So the G and C are quite similar. That should sound like this. Now don't forget you got to mute that top string, otherwise it sounds it sounds a bit of a dull ache in the background. So strum from the fifth string. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you notice, it's like the G and the C, G to C. Once you get a new one of these chords, just to try and go from one chord to the other. To try and get the movement. So that's your A, that's your G, that's your C. Next chord, your D. So just like your A here on the fourth string, it is the same but on the third string. That's what it should sound like. So you strum from the fourth string, don't strum the top two. So that should look like that. I'll get onto another video on how to mute these strings so you can strum with freedom and, and not hit these strings. Okay, but that's for another day. So G, A, C, and then to D. And then the you have the, oh yeah, the E minor. So keeping your third and fourth there. Put an E minor shape on. So that looks like that. Okay. And then the last one is a B minor. So you can see there, take off the third and fourth. We put a finger on the fifth string, second finger on the third string, third finger on the first string at the bottom. And you see they're all on the, the same fret. All on the second fret with an X at the top. So there. So I'm using this finger to mute that top string. Sometimes I use my thumb. So you got G, A, C, D, E minor, and B minor. And that's your family of chords. They all belong to each other. You'll find that most songs stick to a family. And once you find out where to put the capo, you can play that set of chords.